Uh, we now go to Stephen Timms. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, we, we learned this month of the anger in Chesham and Ayrshire with government housing policy. My constituents facing massive bills for waking watch and to repair defects in their leasehold homes are angry as well. And their anger is well expressed by Liam Halligan in the current issue of The Spectator, once edited by the Prime Minister. Um, Liam Halligan's article explains how the big house builders, Barrett's, Taylor, Wimpy, Persimmon, have used their excessive profits from the broken housing market to buy off the Tory party with donations in order successfully to maintain the current rigged system. Those firms have built tens of thousands of shoddy, dangerous homes, and now they're passing the costs of fixing the problem onto leaseholders, and the government is refusing to stop them. And then there's help to buy. The spectator says it is, and I quote, a government subsidy focused on new builds, which has overwhelmingly gone to the big operators, juicing up both house prices and profits further, while making new homes even less affordable for the majority who are unable to access the scheme. And all this has been compounded by Tory failure on regulation. In January 2012, David Cameron made it his New Year's resolution to, quote, in frankly a chilling phrase in hindsight, quote, kill off the health and safety culture for good. Tory housing ministers, seeing growing evidence of the need to tighten fire safety regulation, steadfastly refused to do so. It would have upset the house builders. And the upshot was Grenfell Tower. NHBC, the privatised building control provider favoured by house builders because it's easier to satisfy than local authorities, they signed off shoddy defective buildings with minimal inspection, if any, they have been utterly discredited. Far from killing off the health and safety culture, ministers have had to hand the health and safety executive the embodiment of that culture, fortunately, which the Tories didn't manage to kill off, the crucial new building safety regulator role. The Spectator article finishes by pointing out uh, powerful vested interests benefit mightily from the high price, low build quality gridlock and calling for a full competition and markets authority inquiry into UK house builders. Unlike other members in this debate, I don't want to thank those house builders. Competition is absent from this market. Government must now finally side with leaseholders and would-be homeowners and take on not the building products industry, but the house builders. 